friends good morning welcome to my channel balu master today i am going to discuss binomial theorem proof so this proof is very very important for class 11th and puc students friends so this proof completely depends on mathematical induction by using mathematical induction we can able to derive very easily binomial theorem proof let us start our session the statement of binomial theorem is x plus y whole to the power of n is equals to nc0 x power n y power 0 plus nc1 x power n minus 1 y power 1 plus nc2 x power n minus 2 y square plus so on plus ncn x power 0 y power n. This is what our statement friends. This statement we are going to do by using mathematical induction. What is the rule of mathematical induction? Just now I want to discuss friends. Mathematical induction. Now this rule is this according to this induction we need to solve in three steps friends. What are the three steps? Step one is we need to prove the above expansion is true for n is equals to 1. This is what proof. Then step 2 is nothing but just we need to assume equals to k. This is what just assumption. Next coming to step 3. Again we need to prove this is true for n is equals to k plus 1. Whenever these three steps we derived we need to say that the expansion is true for all natural numbers. Before we are going to start this induction friends, let it be called the given expansion is P of n. Let the above expansion, expansion be P of n. Now our target is P of n is true for n equal to 1, P of n is assumption for n equal to k, P of n is true for n equal to k plus 1. So step 1 of n is true for n is equals to 1. What is this meaning? P of n is true for, true for n equal to 1 means we need to substitute in place of n 1. That is nothing but x plus y whole to the power of 1 is equals to x plus y. This is LHS. What about RHS? In RHS where n is there replace 1 1c0 x power 1 y power 0 plus 1c1 x power 1 minus 1 0 y power 1. We can't substitute 1 here. Why? Because 1c2 means n less than r. It is does not exist from this step onwards. This simplification will be 1c0 1 x power 1 x y power 0 1 plus 1c1 1, 1 x power 0 1 y power n is nothing but 1. It is nothing but 1 into x into 1 x 1 into 1 into y 1 is nothing but 2. Y. So LHS X plus Y, RHS X plus Y, therefore LHS is equal to RHS, hence we can able to write that P of N is true for N is equals to 1. So step 1 is completed friends. Now step 2 is very very easy, we need to assume this is true for N is equals to K. What is the step 2? Step 2. Let us assume. P of n is true for n is equals to k. What is this meaning? We are assuming this is true for n equal to k means already this is satisfied for n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4, up to so on, n equal to k. The given expansion is true. That is the meaning. Now just to replace where n is there k in this expansion. That is nothing but x plus y whole to the power of k is equals to kc0 x power k y power 0 plus kc1 x power k minus 1 y power 1 plus kc2 x power k minus 2 y square plus so on plus kc k x power 0 y power k. Now this is what step 2 completed friends. Now we are going to derive this is true for n is equals to k plus 1. That is the main step. That is step 3. So now we are trying to prove step 3 friends. Step 3. P of n is true for n equal to k plus 1. We need to derive. We need to prove P of n is true for n equal to 
k plus 1. Now what we need to do in place of n just replace k plus 1. That is nothing but x plus y whole to the power of k plus 1 is equals to. This can be written as what friends? x plus y whole to the power of k into x plus y. Again bases are equal. Power should be added. So x plus y whole to the power of k value is what? Just now we derived this is nothing but kc0 x power k y power 0 plus kc1 x power k minus 1 y power 1 plus kc2 x power k minus 2 y square plus so on plus kc k x power 0 y power k into x plus y this total value into multiplication of x plus y. So how to simplify this one? The entire equation let's multiply with x first then multiply with y next. So if you multiply with x you are getting kc0 x power k y power 0 into x plus kc1 x power k minus 1 y power 1 into x plus <coughs> kc2 x power k minus 2 into y square into x plus so on plus k c k x power 0 y power k into x plus now you are going to multiply with y the entire equation what is that k c naught x power k y power 0 into y plus k c 1 x power k minus 1 y power 1 into y plus k c 2 x power k minus 2 y square into y plus so on plus k c k x power 0 y power k into y. Now we are going to simplify this expansion friends. k c naught x power k x power 1. There are x, two x terms are there. Just bases are equal powers are added. Then you are getting x power k plus 1 into y power 0 plus kc1 the same format x power k minus 1 x power 1 will give x power k into y power 1 plus kc2 will get x power k minus 2 x power 1 that is nothing but x power k minus 1 into y power 2 plus so on friends plus so on plus x kc k x power 0 into x is nothing but x power 1 into y power k plus k c k now 2 2 y terms will be there y power 0 y power 1 it is nothing but y power 0 is nothing but 1 so y power 1 will be there here k c 0 x power k y power 1 plus k c 1 x power k minus 1 y power 1 into y y square plus k c 2 x power k minus 2 into y square into y is nothing but y cube plus so on plus k c k x power 0 y power k into y is nothing but y power k plus 1. Now if you observe in this simplification so there are two two terms will be there. So those two two terms are for example if you see here x power k y power 1 this is one term again x power k y power 1 term is there friends. Similarly, x power k minus 1 y square, x power k minus 1 y square terms also friends. So, now we need to take common, then you will be getting the answer. This is nothing but k c naught x power k plus 1 into y power 0 plus k c x power k y power 1 x power k y power 1. If you take common, you are getting k c 1 plus k c naught into x power k y power 1 plus x power k minus 1 y square x power k minus 1 y square if you take common k c 2 plus k c 1 x power k minus 1 y square plus so on plus first second third three terms over friends just you write down the last term what is the last term ignore the remaining terms why because which is there in between so on so k c k x power 0 y power k plus 1 is the last term. Now if you want to simplify this rule you need to know some rules in permutations and combinations. So that is nothing but those rules are. So kc 
NC naught can be written as always can be written as N plus 1 C naught also. N C naught can be written as N plus 1 C naught also. Example, example 2 C naught is equals to 1. Of course, 2 plus 1, 3 C naught is also 1 only. 4 C naught is also 1 only. 5 C naught is also 1 only. That's what we can able to write. Next, coming to next, N C N can be written as N plus 1 C N plus 1. Means, example, so 2 C 2 is nothing but 1. Of course, 3 C 3 is also 1. 4 C 4 is also 1. 5 C 5 is also 1. That's what uh, you can able to write where N C N is there. N plus 1 C N plus 1 also. In the similar way, one more important formula. N C R plus N plus 1. R minus 1. NCR plus NCR minus 1 is there means we are going to write if both are same, both are ends and the difference is 1 by that time you can able to write N plus 1 C from these which is the bigger one R, R minus 1, R is the bigger so NC and plus 1 CR for example, for example 2C1 plus 2C2 is there then this can be written as 2, 2, that's what it will become 3 according to formula. C, from these two, which is the bigger one, 2 is the bigger one, 3C2. The value is nothing but 3C2. If you simplify, you will get the same results. So now, if you follow these three rules, then you can able to complete the simplification. This can be written as KC0. Can be written as what? NC0 is N plus 1 C0. KC0 is can be written as K plus 1 C0. Now, x power k plus 1 as it is, y power 0 also as it is. Let us move to here, kc1 plus kc0. If you observe, ncr plus ncr minus 1 is there means n plus 1 cr. So, kc1 plus kc1 minus 1 0. Then this can be written as k plus 1 cr. R means what? 1. Remaining part as usual, x power k, y power 1. Plus, kc2 plus kc1. Same formula you apply. So, kc2 plus kc1 can be written as k plus 1 c bigger value 2 into x power k minus 1 into y square plus so on plus last and final value kck can be written as depends on ncn ncn can be written as n plus 1 c n plus 1 in the same way kck can be written as k plus 1 c k plus 1 this is nothing but into x power 0 into y power k plus 1 now, the binomial theorem proof is completed, friends. So, whether this proof is completed or not, how you have to identify means. We are taking in place of n k plus 1, right? Just check it whether you are getting the same answer or not. In place of n k plus 1 means, just substitute, friends. k plus 1 c naught, yes. x power k plus 1 y power 0. Check it, x power k plus 1 y power 0. Plus, plus. Next, if you substitute in place of n k plus 1, k plus 1 c 1, yes x power k plus 1 minus 1 but in but x power k c y power 1 plus in place of n k plus 1 means k plus 1 c 2 x power k plus 1 minus 2 nothing but k minus 1 x power k minus 1 y square plus so on plus k plus 1 c k plus 1 x power 0 y power k plus 1 yes our proof is completed. So this is true for n is equals to k plus 1. What we can able to conclude? Therefore p of n is true for n is equals to k plus 1 friends hence p of n is true for all natural numbers this is binomial theorem proof friends this is for today's class friends thank you so much thanks a lot bye friends